Welcome to Adventures in Consciousness, the interactive show that offers expansive conversation with pioneering new thought teachers and personal real-time guided journeys into the imaginal realm to access your soul's wisdom and discover how to live your greater story. Here is your host, human potentialist, soul mentor, and consciousness guide, Jennifer Ivanko. Hello and welcome. Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Consciousness, The Conversation. So a few months ago, we started a series of um, exploring the dimensions of the human experience. We all know that we're very, uh, we're multidimensional beings. And so I wanted to just play with that concept and that understanding because the word dimensions can be so ambiguous. Um, this month, our first conversation at the beginning of the month was with Formica Coriander, and she is um, a, she calls herself an awakened dreamer. Um, she teaches a course on lucid dreaming and the power of dreams. And we started exploring dreams as a territory, um, thinking about the reality of dreams, and that it can be as real as our daily life. It's just another, um, another dimension or level of ourselves. And what is the practical level of understanding if the dreams are dimension and I go into that dimension, what does that do for my life at a practical level? And that's where I want to start exploring. Um, a lot of my work looks at dreams, not just our nighttime dreams, but that place of what we call the imaginal. The imaginal is a place beyond simple fantasy and imagination. It's where we step into that place beyond the limitations of the mind, and we actually activate ourselves to possibilities and potentials. Um, so this is what I call the meta realm, which is also the dream realm, the realm of, of uh, dimensions of dreams. Um, one of the fun exercises I like to do is called the kinesthetic body, it's something my teacher taught me years ago, where you can actually um, close your eyes and imagine yourself standing in front of yourself and imagine lifting your arm, for example. When you do it physically, you can feel your shoulder, your hand, your, you can feel more than just this visual of the arm going up. You actually vividly imagine moving your right arm and then you move uh, different parts of your right side of your body just from a meditation standpoint so you don't physically move. And when you finish doing this exercise for about five minutes, of just one side of the body, you know, lifting your leg up, moving your ankle, your toes, the whole thing. Once you do that, um, open your eyes, stand up and walk around and notice a physical difference between the right side of your body and the left side of your body. So to me, that's just a fun example how this imaginal, our imagination with potential is actually affecting reality, the practical world. And so when we do journeys, when we do these meditation journeys, we're going in and touching places that are activating us inside, not just physically with our body and visualizations, but also with information. Sometimes we journey into these places to open up new um, packages, information packages that are ready for us so we can then apply it to what we're trying to create in the world right now for ourselves or for our families and the world around us. So this is a little bit of the hu human potential work that I do. Um, today, we are gonna continue on that theme about, um, about dreams and the dream dimension. As you know, I do two episodes each month. In the first episode, we have the conversation. And the second episode, which is today, we do an experience or two experiences. And so we're going to uh, first give you an experience about two techniques we do before we go to sleep, before we enter the dream realm. You can do these exercises also before you um, meditate. Either way, these are meant to do two things. The first, the first exercise is about organizing our, um, our thoughts and our day so that we can release it and move into a deeper journey. If you think about um, dreams, there are many different levels of dreams. Uh, you have the dreams that are just reprocessing your, your daily activity. You know, we have to organize 
all these things that have happened to us in one day. We have to organize our thoughts and how we feel about them and our emotions. And so the first part of dreaming might be is cleaning house, right? Then this another kind of dream is the ones that we actually take those journeys where we seem to travel and go somewhere and learn new things or receive more information. So the practices that we're going to start with, the first exercise of practice is about a simple process you do before you go to sleep or meditate where you just move through your day. And I'll walk you through that. The second practice is about energy for your dreams. So when we travel in dreams, we want to have our um, the most energy inside of us, the, the vital life force that allows us to move further or go deeper. If you're exhausted, you're not going to have some of these journey dreams. You're going to have restorative dreams or restorative sleep. We want the, the dreams that take you somewhere. So the first two exercises are going to be, um, the first two things we're going to do are exercises that will help you launch you into your dreams. So let's go ahead with the first recording. I'd like to share with you now two very simple exercises. These are both very powerful techniques that will support you as you step into your dreams and journey in the dream dimensions. So let's begin with the first exercise. It's called recapitulation. This is something that you can do each night before you go to bed. Recapitulation. You begin by sitting and making yourself very comfortable, relaxing just as fully as you can. And with your eyes closed, you're going to play a movie on the screen of your mind a movie in which you will observe yourself from the moment you woke up, moving through your whole day. So let's try this now. So imagining that you can see yourself waking up this morning, stretching and getting out of bed. And doing your morning rituals, brushing your teeth, getting ready for the day, watching on the screen of your mind like it's a movie. You see yourself going into the kitchen or having breakfast. And then following the movie, observing the day. all the people you've met, the things you've done. Observing yourself on the screen of your mind. Finding those moments of joy and gratitude. Everything you've done until you arrived to this moment, to now. Observing yourself here and now. And now that we've finished our recapitulation and we've observed ourselves until we arrived in this moment, 
and we can recognize that all the experiences and all those prior moments are complete. We are ready now to release the mind. The second exercise I'd like to share is the prana breathing. And this prana breathing has many healing benefits. It also helps to quiet the mind before meditation or dreams. And prana breathing fills our body with vital life force energy. And this is the fuel that allows us to journey in our dreams. We will practice prana now for about 10 minutes. So let's begin. With your eyes closed, let's bring your awareness to your breath. As you breathe in and out. Not changing your breath, just be aware of how you're breathing. In and out. Now deepening your breath just a little, noticing your chest rise and fall with each breath. In and out. Now deepening those breaths into long, slow belly breaths in through the nose, hold, out through the mouth, hold, and continue like this. Each breath in, imagine breathing in a light blue color, a sky blue energy. And each breath out, breathing out tension and stress as if you're breathing out the color gray. Filling your body with that prana. Each breath in a gentle wave of this energy. And each breath out, going a little deeper, a little more into that peace and stillness. Relaxing even more as you bring more energy into your body. Filling your reservoirs with vital life force. Listening to my voice as you consciously breathe. Breathing in through your nose, filling your lungs fully. Pausing briefly, breathing out through your mouth completely, and getting the most benefit from this prana breathing. And finding with each breath you are relaxing even more. 
knowing that the more you relax, the more energy you receive. Receiving energy and healing at every level of your body. And know that as you breathe in, you are filling your heart center with energy and abundance. All of the resources you need. Continue the breathing. Each breath and each moment bringing you deeper and deeper into relaxation. And this relaxation allows the energy and the activation to go deeper. Bringing positive energy into your aura now filling you with this vibration that removes anything negative. The more prana you breathe, the deeper you go, and the more you relax, you gather more and more energy to strengthen yourself. And now, I invite you to imagine this swirling blue energy is like a beautiful wave. This is a beautiful blue wave that starts rolling in at your feet. And moving up to your ankles. And everything it touches turns blue. With every breath in and pause, you see the wave move up higher. And with every breath out and pause, it returns back down. Just like a wave that flows in and out. As you breathe in, you see the wave moving up past your knees to your sacrum and then back down. And then moving up to your torso and back down again. And everything that the blue wave touches relaxes, going deeper and deeper into relaxation, giving you strength, nourishing your body. As the wave now moves up to your heart chakra, It touches and relaxes every part of your body. And as it goes to your throat chakra and back down, it relaxes as it touches every part of your body. And the wave continuously moves higher and higher on your body, covering every part of you. As you slowly and rhythmically breathe in and breathe out, the blue wave covers every part of your body. As you continue breathing and relaxing, Know that all of your challenges, all of your difficulties are no longer there. Any worries, any fears, anything that has accumulated inside of you 
cannot touch you. You are receiving strength from the contact with this energy, with this prana. You are receiving energy and you feel stronger and better with each breath in and each breath out. You are receiving this energy and it is accumulating and it is strengthening you. It's like an invisible wave that is continuing to feed your aura with energy, giving you all the strength you need and everything that is not necessary is resolved. Continue breathing just a little longer in through your nose, pause out through your mouth, pause, fill in your lungs as much as possible and totally relaxing. And know as you do this prana breathing, you are accumulating energy in your body and this energy is like water. And this water, this energy, rushes through every part of your body, in your blood, in your bones, in your spinal cord, your organs, and if there are any blockages, this energy, this water that you've accumulated from all this prana breathing is acting like a cleanser. Like water, this energy clears all the blockages so that the energy that you've accumulated doing all this prana breathing will heal and restore every part of your body. Now, release your breath and slip into a gentle resting rhythm, pausing here for a moment to visualize your body. Visualize the muscles, the spinal cord, the veins, And see the energy moving through your body once again, clearing out any blockages, any discomforts you may feel. Visualizing this beautiful energy that flows through your body now, that you've accumulated from prana breathing. Imagine vividly that it is clearing out restoring and repairing, returning you to vibrant health. Now coming back to my voice, beginning to move your fingers and your toes, stretching just a little and when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes and coming back. So welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, those are just um, a couple exercises that we do to prepare ourselves for either nighttime or for meditation. Um, when we do the recapitulation, that's just playing our day from the moment we wake up until the present moment. You can even do that when you're trying to center yourself before you start a new activity. If you're an important meeting or something else that you um, want to be present for, fully present, sometimes just taking a moment and closing your eyes and replaying your, mo your day until you arrive to that moment 
kind of collects you and brings you into that so you can be present, fully present. Uh, the prana breathing is something that you can do um, without any guided meditation. You just set your clock for 10 minutes and breathe in through the nose for about six breaths, six a count of six. You hold it for three. You breathe out through your mouth for six and you hold it for three. And so you just do this kind of loop of a breath. What happens is when you breathe out of your mouth, you are releasing your mind. You're um, quieting your mind. And when, as you breathe in, you're breathing in this energy, this prana, life force, that then helps you go deeper when we go into meditation or into our dreams. It's a wonderful practice to do right before bed, before you sleep. So I see we're running. Um, we have a lot more I want to cover today. I have another meditation for you. Where we're actually going to take a journey into what I call the causal realm. So before we do that, we need to go to break. But stay with us. Real Conscious Connection, Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment, a philanthropic organization. Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Hello, I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Om Times Magazine's flagship radio show, What is Going Om? My passion is sifting through information, research, and innovations from new thought teachers, speakers, and researchers, pushing back the boundaries of what we know about life, energy, metaphysics, and the universe. I love shifting perceptions about who we are, why we're here, and how quickly impossible becomes normal when we open our minds, expand our awareness, and accept that the only limits that exist are those we place upon ourselves. So if you're the kind of forward-thinking, eager investigator of what lies beyond the current reality that most perceive, why not make a date to come play with me in the field of possibilities at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time every Thursday, and together we can discover what's really going on. There is no greater mystery in life than you. So why not take a fully experiential plunge into the depths of your being to uncover and retrieve all the secrets and wisdom your soul is crying out for you to know. If you enjoy Adventures in Consciousness, The Conversation, you'll love Adventures in Consciousness, The Course. Join Jennifer in this unique 13-week series of journeys specifically designed to unlock the mysteries of yourself. Each week, you'll journey progressively deeper into the meta-realm where, freed from the limitations of your mind, you'll get to play and explore the inner and outer reaches of your awareness. The next series of Adventures in Consciousness, The Course, is starting soon. Find out more and stake your place at jenniferivanko.com. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. So welcome back. You are listening to Adventures in Consciousness, The Conversation. And today we're taking some experiential journeys into the dream dimension or dimensions of dream. As I spoke um, before, a couple of episodes ago, we talked about the different levels of self, the different dimensions of self. We had the physical realm, which is the realm of our personal bodies, but also our extended body, because we're connected to even to the stars. The stardust makes up the building blocks of our own body. So this infinite um, level of the physical. Then we have the the level of the mind, which is our uh, intellect, our uh, mind, and our ego. And this is a more um, limited place of self, of who we perceive ourselves to be. And then below that, we have the causal realm, the 
realm of uh, that is the cause of all the higher realms in one tradition in Ayurvedic. That's the way they look at this um, uh, model. So the causal realm is that infinite realm of imagination and imaginal that place we go in our dream dreams at night or the place we go when we journey in our meditations. It's what I called uh, referred to before as the imaginal, the imaginal place of um, powerful possibilities and potentials. So we're going to take a little journey into that causal realm, um, exploring that sense that as we go deeper within ourselves, we are actually going outward into something beyond. Um, so this is going to be a meditation journey. So enjoy and sit back and uh, I'll talk to you in a minute. So let's begin. With your eyes closed, let's bring your awareness to your breath. As you breathe in and out. Not changing your breath, just be aware of how you breathe. In and out. Now deepening your breath just a little. Notice your chest rise and fall with each breath. And now let's deepen into those long, slow belly breaths in through the nose. Hold out through the mouth. Hold and continue like this. Each breath in, imagine breathing in a sky blue color, a sky blue energy. And each breath out, breathe out tension and stress as if you're breathing out the color gray. Filling your body with that prana. Each breath in, a gentle wave of that energy. And each breath out, going a little deeper, a little more into the peace and stillness. is your own high self, the one we call the entelechy of you. And this entelechy is placing his or her hands over yours and breathe into that connection. You may begin to feel a subtle touch little warmth in your hands. Whatever it is, continue your deep breathing 
and connecting with your IntelliKey. As you continue your prana breathing, breathing in, breathing out, imagine you are breathing with your IntelliKey, sharing that one breath, IntelliKey is looking upon you now with so much love. This loving presence is here to guide you, to support you. Intelliki has been with you since before time and looks upon you now with such awe and wonder at all that you are and all that you are becoming. Continue that deep prana breathing just a little longer, breathing with your IntelliKey. Knowing that your IntelliKey is here to nourish you, to guide you, to help you with the wisdom for your greater destiny. Now, take a deep breath in and release. Allow yourself to slip into a gentle resting rhythm with your breath. And be aware once again of the presence of your IntelliKey there at your side. I invite you to bring to mind that beautiful soul question. Who am I? Who am I really? As you ask this question, turn to your IntelliKey and invite a conversation. Inviting IntelliKey to share with you the deeper wisdom of who you are and who you are becoming. The second soul question, what do I want, what do I really want? And the last soul question, what is my purpose? How do I serve? Now take a deep breath in and release, releasing all the questions and any answers that may have come, allowing the universe to work out the details and bringing your awareness back to your breath. And I invite you to imagine as if in a dream that you can now stand and move towards your IntelliKey so that you are facing your IntelliKey. IntelliKey invites you 
to reach out your hands and he or she places there a beautiful rose, a magical rose. Taking a moment to observe this rose in your hands. Looking at the color and the shape. Feeling the touch. The softness of the petal. The woody stem. Breathing in fully the smell of the rose. As you observe the rose closer, notice there is a drop of dew of moisture on one of the petals. And that moisture is flowing inward, following that drop with your awareness. Noticing this water is the moisture that holds the rose together. Following that drop of moisture, that water, as it moves deeper into the rose, as it begins to transform into the energy for the rose, and you find yourself following even deeper into that energy, noticing the flow that nourishes every part from stem to petal. Moving deeper and deeper with the flow of that energy until you begin to sense the space between the cells. Deep within the rose, within the infinite space that holds this rose, you found the universe. Imagining now that you can fly through this universe, noticing the stars and the galaxies, enjoying that expanse, that infinite space. Promise me, I am the universe. Aham, promise me. As you move through the stars, begin to feel and sense a gentle tug that draws you forward as you follow this pull, the sensation you see ahead a beautiful star and you recognize it as your sun moving past the fire of the sun coming closer and closer to the earth towards the planet to where you are on the planet seen from above your city, your town your neighborhood
your house. Your room. Your body. And the rose. Taking a deep breath in and release. Allowing yourself now to come back to your breath. Following your breath into your body. Moving your fingers and your toes. And stretching just a little. And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes and coming back. Hello and welcome back. So that was just a taste of an imaginal journey. This journey inward to those infinite realms that we have within inside this access we have. Um, we take these journeys to activate ourselves to some information that is stored in these different levels of ourself, um, energy and information. And this brings us to that, these higher capacities, these higher abilities, as we start exploring these deep realms. Um, I like to take time to explore inside these different realms, activate yourself, and then be creative for a little while to journal or to draw or something that helps you integrate what you've touched inside and bring it out into um, this reality. And from there, you can start being inspired and, and create things in your life. Uh, this is a very important time for us right now to have visions, to be dreaming, to bring in the next renaissance. Um, we've been stuck for a long time in a lot of old lethargic thoughts, things that are heavy and, and you can see in the world around us. We need that renaissance, that freshness. Um, for me, it's important to spend time inside in these journeys and time outside in nature with that prana, that real life force energy that's out there in nature to inspire us. And also taking time to open our inner senses, open up our ability to imagine visually, to smell, imagine sense, taste, touch, all of these inner senses, along with our actual outer senses, the ability to smell, taste, touch, hear, feel, to open all of this up by consciously exercising them. And this allows us to take in more information and energy from the world around us. And then it inspires the world inside of us. And then we start having these activations, these um, ability to tap into some of our hidden potentials. If you look back through history, some of the highest high creative people were the people that were very observant, that took in the world around them. Um, they cooked on more burners, as my teacher used to say. So I'd also like to take a couple of moments to um, share with you a couple of exciting events that are coming up. I have a, uh, as I do these inner journeys, like we're experiencing here, but I also take trips to sacred places with people. And I have uh, three trips coming up that I'm very excited about. We had a trip to Egypt Set, uh, set up that sold out in just two days. And so we've decided to open up a second trip to Egypt. And this is not just a trip for tourism and taking pictures, although there's plenty of that. This is a trip of um, an esoteric journey. You are going to travel through time, through time past as we go through these temples and these uh, pyramids, through time present where you are in this moment and time future where we're going. Um, this journey hits all of the um, key places from Gaza, from uh, the plateau with the pyramids and the Sphinx to um, Abydos to sailing down the Nile River for a few days. It's a very, it's a magical trip. I did this last year with a couple of groups. 
Um, and again, it's an esoteric trip. So we do a lot of meditation and uh, rituals. We also travel with a classical Egyptologist who gives us the classical history. So if you have questions about hieroglyphs and things like that. And we travel with this with uh, a man named uh, Crotolo Sesamo. Uh, he's an ambassador from Dominher, which I will tell you more about later. But he is his study for 40 years has been on ancient civilizations and pre-Atlantean history, as well as uh, stone language. So there's uh, a way to activate the pyramids and temples so that it resonates and you can be activated by this information that's there just for you. Um, this trip is going to be September 26th through October 8th. So if you're interested, I'm sure it's going to sell out quickly because we only take um, between 14 and 18 people. Don't, it's a, a private boat that we take down the Nile River, so it's not a large group. So um, go to my website at jenniferevanco.com, and you can find it under Travels. We also have um, a trip to Dominher, which is a trip that uh, is northern Italy. Dominher is a spiritual community that's been around for about 40 years. And they have done 40 years worth of research on consciousness and humanity. And they call themselves the laboratory for the future of humankind. It's a place of amazing art and uh, courses. We do some mystery school courses. That trip's in uh, September, September 18th. And then there's another trip. But you can look at um, my website under travel and you'll see um, the different trips I have planned. So I just wanted to mention those because this Egypt is going to be very special. The only other thing I'd like to mention is Mondays. I have Manifesting Mondays, and that's something that's free right now to come and join me for one hour of um, healing energy. We do prana, breathing, and then we do a little bit of envisioning the world we want to step into. So your intentions of what you want to create in your own life, what you want to create in your immediate environment, and then what we want to do globally together, just with light and energy. So these are just some of the things that you can find um, on my website. And I wanted to share that with you because I'm excited with uh, all these potentials to get together with you and to do some more journeying. So I hope you enjoyed today this taste of the imaginal. Again, that was just a taste. We, we went way out into the universe and flew among the stars and came back and found ourselves in our body. Um, we can take journeys where you experience different levels, different personalities you have, or different, um, all different levels. And we're going to start continue playing with um, dimensions of the human experience over the next few months, including uh, one coming up is with past lives, looking not at past lives as um, really in a linear sense. It's actually, if you look at time as a territory, that uh, it exists all at once, then these lives that we are connected to are all there for us to explore and connect and bring into um, current, some, some inf information and abilities and possibilities you can bring into your current life here. Uh, for example, if you ever um, imagine playing a musical instrument and maybe in another life you were a musician, you can tap into that and it's coded inside of you. So by going on these journeys, you can actually connect with this past life, past life, and actually um, access something inside of you that then can be opened up and you can start enjoying that um, tool or that ability to play music or whatever it is you're searching for. So I've enjoyed this today with you and I hope to uh, see you again next time. Until then. Namaste.